These are the stories of the drive and determination it takes to excel in the toughest sport in the world. This is USA Gymnastics Behind the Team, presented by AT&T. For as much as we were a team at World Championships, we were so close, and I really think that bond is gonna be there for this next year, too. But the, the group out here at the training center, it's gone beyond that. We're with each other day in and day out, you know, for years now, and we come from all different places around the country, and it really makes for an interesting squad. The U.S. Olympic Training Center, located here in Colorado Springs, Colorado, is home to about 170 resident athletes on an annual basis. Their services are all centered here, as well as living and training together. We have a great cafeteria here that works throughout the whole day, anytime you can go there and eat. You get all the food you could ever imagine in here. Wednesdays are Asian station days, so flour over on the grill, we'll be preparing some Asian meal. Let's see what we got today. So there's the lunch for today. Okay, we're here now in the uh, AT&T Athlete Connection Center. AT&T has uh, hooked us up right here. Uh, they gave us computers and a nice lounge to hang out, TVs, and this is where a lot of the athletes, the resident athletes, have this available to them to come down and check their emails and just kind of lounge out before practice and uh, kind of get some downtime. The equipment, the facilities is great. You have everything you need here to become an Olympian. So now we're in the weight room. This is where most sports you know, come to do some extra training outside of uh, their actual event. Uh, it's a really great facility, and I know a lot of the athletes uh, and other people around complex, other people working at the USOC use it as much as they can. This is where we come when we have injuries, and the therapists and doctors are on staff here, and they take care of us and get us ready for next day's practice whenever we have something wrong with us. The dorms, the guys can stay here for free, wonderful dorms. I'm going to give you a little sneak peek into my crib. Let's come check it out. This is where I live for the past three years. Um, me and my roommate Yuki Tamita, he lives on one side, I live on the other side. We share this common area. Hilton hooked us up with these awesome beds. So these are brand new. We've had it for about a year now. This one's the special one. This is my 2007 all Visa All-Around Champ Award. I'm going to hang on to that one. That one means a lot to me. We have a trampoline team with gymnastics, which is wildly exciting to watch practice. Trampolining has been around for a long time, but it was admitted into the, into the Olympics as a full-fledged Olympic medal sport in 2000. It was really well received there. It was sold out. I explain it to people like, it's like diving. Diving's one really cool skill into the water. Trampolining is 10 really cool skills in a row. We came to the Olympic Training Center, they set up the residency program this year. It's great, the, the medical staff that's here, the, you know, the sports psychologists that are here, the nutritionists, you know, the people here have been great, they've really welcomed us in with open arms and I think it's been awesome. But I think that we have definitely a really good chance at qualifying both a man and a woman for the Olympic Games. It really is exciting to watch people develop these potentially lifetime friendships because they develop their careers at an Olympic Training Center. It makes our lives a lot easier and we can focus uh, on gymnastics. We're all pushing for each other and you know trying to make each other better gymnasts and that's what it's all about living out here. Here's a quick look at the next episode. We won world championships.